What's up, my crypto legends? The price of Bitcoin is in a sideways range here for the last few days. Now, we are going to see that volatility very, very soon, and we need to get ready for our next potential trading setups that will be explained in this episode, guys. So make sure to stay tuned. We're talking about the strongest resistance levels and the possibility of the price action in the next coming days. And also, if the price were to correct, where is that strongest level where we could bounce, guys? So make sure to stay tuned. Hi there, Andy here. Welcome back to another episode of Bitcoin Census. Let's dive in here straight into the price of Bitcoin to know what exactly we are looking for. What are those levels to take that big major opportunity for our next trading scenario? But first, we are going to talk about Bitflex because Bitflex right now is giving an Apple Watch Series 8 for free. If you deposit $100, signing up with the link in the description and just make one trade, you are in for the giveaway. Of course, just by depositing $100, and making one trade, you also get $10 worth of bonus, guys. It literally takes 30 seconds to sign up. I'll be leaving my tutorial up above so you can check it out to know how to use this exchange. Now, let's dive in right away here on the price of Bitcoin because, yes, everything is bullish, right? We're going up. We can see some altcoins popping, okay? And right now, we are hitting the major resistance of that $30,000, $31,000 level. Yes, and it's looking very, very bullish, but this sideways consolidation, is this a bull flag? Are we going to break out and then get a massive crash? Or are we going to get that pullback right now and then get a massive pump? Well, this is what we're going to talk about, guys, because there is some big major levels that we need to pay attention and understand what is the highest probability scenario for our next winning trade. And let me just tell you right over here, we have the last lower highs from May of 2022 for a potential potential liquidity grab and that will get people very excited if the price were to move up all the way to that range, okay, and then have this choppy price action creating a double top and a local lower high on the lower time frame, this will be very, very bearish for the price of Bitcoin and we will likely to see a deep corrective move. I'm going to go to the lower time frames and I will explain this scenario. This is the blue horizontal line here that we do have here with the lower highs from May of 2022. And we'll zoom in on the lower time frames and explain how this could potentially play out in the next coming days. Of course, there will be the bullish case scenario where we are already going to get a pullback in the next one to two days and hit some very strong support level to get a huge major bounce depending on what kind of price action is created at that level. So let's zoom in right away and explain that situation. So we're going to go to the four hourly time frame, zoom in on the chart and explain what could potentially happen. Now, there's different ways in reading this with Elliott Wave Theory, okay? A lot of people get confused with the possibilities here on what could happen. Is this a fourth wave? Has the fifth wave already been created with this leg up? Are we in an ABC structure and we're going to rock it and this is already the second wave? Let me note that the second wave can retrace to the 0.236 and then rock it, okay? It does not need to retrace to 50% or 618, okay? It's not a rule that it needs to follow. Yes, it usually retraces to the 50% or 78 in between that range, but it can retrace to the point. 236 Fibonacci and rocket guys. It happens a lot on Bitcoin. So going diving in here right away on the price of BTC, we can see that, you know, there's a lot of confusion right now at this moment because we are getting a little bit overextended on this corrective move. Now, a lot of people might think, hey, you know, what is this? Is this being five waves right over here? Okay, looking at Elliott Wave Theory. And right now we are already inside of the corrective wave. Okay, and we are going to create an ABC flat. Okay, there's many, many ways. Okay, in reading this, this could be the scenario and this is an ABC flat where three waves will be created. All right. It's just so many different complex ways to take a look at this. Of course, you could believe that this is still part of the third wave right there. OK, and we are still inside of the fourth wave. We're not going to get a movement up here. We're going to correct back down to this level of twenty thousand eight hundred and then create the fifth wave. All right. Before we get a major corrective move inside of this zone, creating that ABC structure, creating the second wave. All right. And this being still the first wave. So there's a lot of confusion. Of course, Elliott wave theory could not affect our trade scenarios. OK, because we trade levels, resistance and support and we're very much ready for the scenarios. Of course, 
I've been posting, all right, for the last couple of days, what could potentially happen inside of this zone. And then we'll go through this on the higher time frames to take a look at the levels for our possible swing trading setup, guys. But of course, on the Legends Trading community, we're talking about those small little setups, okay? There's different scenarios and you need to check the price action to see those reactions, okay? We talk about this resistance here at the point of control value area high. We could have a little bit of a scalp attempt here to hit the highs and have a corrective move. And we do see some people jumping in into those trades. We talk about the levels, okay? We talk about the scenarios, people actually shorting this small little ranges because they're basically scalps, right? We talk about the 30,700, 800 range that could get rejected, all right? And people are actually jumping into those quick little scalp scenarios, okay? As you can see here in the Legends Trading community. That was basically mentioned yesterday. I'll explain it right away, okay? Basically, we are chopping up the value area high and point of control from this trading range. These are just quick, quick little scalping scenarios. We very much were warned, okay, that we were probably gonna get a fake out from the value area high zone here, which did happen, you know, very early this morning, and then getting that quick little dip corrective move. These are just quick little scalps, okay? And the way to read this is get above the range and get beneath the range and just jump in into a short position, okay, locally, because there's no big major trend here inside of this sideways action. If you're getting into these small little trades and you get a nice profit, you close that position very, very quickly. And this is what we explain, of course, in the Legends Trading community when we are in a local range. If you want to sign up for the Legends Trading community, you know the deal. You got the link down below in the description, okay, to get that discount. Now, diving here straight into the price of Bitcoin again, right? Let me just explain what is to come and what we are getting ready for, guys, in the next coming days. Not in the next coming weeks, in the next coming days, okay? So what is the strongest resistance level? What if this is going to be an ABC flat inside of the fourth wave, okay? Very confusing with Elliott Wave Theory because there's multiple scenarios. Now, what if this is going to be like this? This being the A and then this being the B. It's very possible creating a massive ABC flat scenario. Um, of course, the, usually the B does not get much above the A wave, but however, it can get overextended. We got two major levels of interest here. There's a daily level at 31,781. This is a daily level from May of 2022. Let me just quickly go through that level. It's a daily right there, close and open that we had back in May that hasn't been tapped yet. And then of course, we got our interest zone here where we have the blue box, which is the last lower highs, okay, for a liquidity grab to get that major corrective move. Now, we could blast through this level. This is not a video saying that this is a 100% shorting level. The price action needs to get a reaction at that zone. We need to get that exhaustive momentum to see that the price is not going to manage to break above this level. And then we are looking for that huge corrective move, okay? Of course, I'm not sure if I will be updating this very, very quickly on YouTube on the Legends Trading community. We'll be paying close attention to try and get into a short position at the highest level possible and our stop losses with a very good risk management. This could blast through this level, okay, and have a huge major pump, all right, just after getting above the level. So we need to know how to trade this scenario. It needs to get exhausted at this zone to get into a possible short position with good risk management. And this short could be epic because usually when we get above a resistance zone, people get extremely bullish, people start longing a little bit late, okay? And then what could happen is you get a big, massive crash liquidity grab above, below, sorry, these higher lows, okay? Where it's just a classic level to get that liquidity. So that shorting scenario that we could be looking for here at this $32,000 level could be looking something like this, guys, where the risk to reward can be absolutely huge, okay? So that is the major resistance zone, okay? If we are going to pump all the way up there, I will be very cautious to see what is going to happen, guys, because I do think that the price will not manage to break to $35,000, $36,000 in an instant if the price action gets all the way up there. I'll be very much interested in a possible 
shorting scenario, depending on what kind of price action is created. We need to see that exhaustion. We need to get back beneath, okay, the last lower highs from May over here. If we are currently staying above this level strongly, then of course, this is likely to have that continuation to the upside. So we need to know how to execute these trading scenarios. And remember guys, if you want that Apple Watch Series 8, you just need to sign up to Bitflex with the link in the description, deposit $100, you'll be getting $10 once you do create that trade and you automatically enter the Apple Watch giveaway, okay? Make sure to sign up, it only takes 30 seconds and you have a win-win, $10 worth of bonus and the Apple Watch giveaway just by depositing $100 and making one trade, guys. Now, on the other side, what if the price does not pump? What, what happens if the price gets another attempt here to, to break the highs, the April highs, and fails? The April highs have been failing consistently here. We've been getting into some great shorting opportunities at this resistance, all right, for the last few days. Now, what happens if it does fail again? Well, we'll be paying attention to see if it's a failed move to the upside, because this could still be part of an ABC structure, right? Where we are going to come all the way down to these levels, all right? So if that were to be the case, right, what is the strongest support level? What is the support level that I am paying attention to here in the next coming days? to potentially enter a long position. The first level is the $28,900 range. Why is this level so important? Well, basically we got a lot of Fibonacci levels here from the pivot lows that have been created, okay? Higher lows that have been created for the last few weeks. And also we do have that naked point of control. If you do take a look at the session volume profile, we do have that naked point of control from the 21st of June right there. And of course, we need to know how to trade this setup. We need to hit the level and get that small little reaction so we can have good risk management to get into a long position because it could blast through this level, guys. This is not a signal. It is just a level that is strong and we need to check that reaction. If we do take a look at Fibonacci retracement, we have some really nice Fib levels, which is from this pivot low to the pivot high. Let me just get Fibonacci right away pivot low to the pivot high, we have the 50% Fibonacci exactly at that level. If this were st still to be the fourth wave, all right, and we are creating that ABC structure here, then of course 50% 50 50 would be really nice for that fourth wave. Now, if we do take a look at the Fibonacci retracement from the ultimate low created here on the 15th of June to the pivot high, well, the 382 is also at that 20,900. So we got two nice Fibonacci levels from these two pivot lows, okay? Which will take us here to that naked point of control as well to add confluence, that high volume node. And we want to check the reaction at that zone for a potential long position. Obviously, the ideal scenario here would be a double bottom scenario to nicely get into a long position with confidence, all right? But we could also hit that level, retrace to the 618, okay, and then potentially get into a long. We'll be looking at the possible scenarios here in the Legends Trading community. So those are the most most important levels for the moment, all right? They are still pretty far away. This one is round about $1,700 away from current price levels. And also the other one at 32,500 is away, you know, almost $2,000, right? From current price levels. So yes, these levels are very far away, but it's a plan. We need to plan, all right? Some people are swing traders, some people are day traders. I'm more of a day trader myself. I like to get in and out positions in the same day. I might leave some position open, all right, for a few days because of course that day trade can, can turn into a swing trade if the projection is to go to higher levels or to lower levels if we are in a short position. So those are the most important levels for our swing trades, guys. These are trades that could last for a few days or even a few weeks because shorting here from this $32,000 range, all right, if we were to get that exhaustion, that fake out from this level could take several days to come all the way down to the take profit zone. And this would be an epic move of two to $3,000, right? With a little bit of leverage, we can make some huge gains on that possibility. On the other side, we got the long scenario where we're gonna have that 
deep corrective move here, claiming the lows that have been created right the last couple of days at 29,500 and dip beneath the level and even dip below $29,000, hitting that very strong Fibonacci level, naked point of control, and to see if you're gonna get that reaction because if this level does manage to hold in the short term, we could be seeing something like this, especially if we haven't hit the $32,500 range just yet. If we are gonna correct down from this range, without testing this high, we could look at something like this in the next coming days if we were to come all the way down there. And the risk to reward for this could be absolutely huge. This is it, guys. Thank you very much for joining, and I will see you in the next one.